Hey yo, what up Bodega Podcast? You already know who it is. It's one half of the sexiest Puerto Rican studs on this planet, Ortiz, baby. And shout out to all the Bodega Podcast listeners. Ow. Yo, this is the Lucha Thug, the one man Lucha gang, El Rey Gordo himself, the King Fat Boy Papa Wesco, and y'all rocking with the Urban Wrestling Network. <laughs> It's your boy, the young goat, one half of Injustice, Hot Fire Myron Reed, and you're listening to Urban Wrestling Network. Gang. This is Joseph Samael from Contra Unit, and you're watching the Urban Wrestling Network. What's good? It's Tristan Ty, aka Kiro Kwan. You're watching Urban Wrestling Network. Hail Contra. What's up? It's Judge in the building. And make sure you guys check out Urban Wrestling Network. The boys gonna be on there chopping it up. You already know, Street Fighter. Oh, it is, man. It's like Boogie, South Philly. What up? Catch me on the Urban Wrestling Network real soon. Be on the lookout for that podcast, bro. Yes. MLW all that. NWA all that. I'm everywhere. Fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, you guys. This is Christy Janes, and you're listening to the Urban Wrestling Network. Now, this thing, and, and I know, listen, I know a lot of people feel a certain way. Um, I do think that MLW getting a guy like Enzo, it, it does take MLW to, I know, I know how you feel. It's cool. It's cool. I think on the mic, Enzo could go with anyone, right? Anyone. Now, my thing is, Enzo feels, Ooh. yeah, Enzo feels like, he could be in a perfect situation as long as he doesn't talk shit to LAX because it's what LAX does. And they have that street element. You know, Enzo likes to try to do that. How you doing? You know, and, and he tries to have the gold chains. And I'm going to tell you now, and I'm going to throw this here, not because Slice Boogie's from Queens, but because of every promo that they have done, every bit yet, yeah, whatever you want to label it. They keep asking about where you get that camera for, son, and they're trying to grab things. And so if you come in looking icy, I'm going to tell you right now that you're about to get jokes real quick, dog. Slice Boogie is going to be looking really icy with your ice. And so, and so, like you said, he could talk on the mic, no issues. Oh, yeah. he, he did a lot of funny promos. When they broke him up from him and Big Cass, he went, you know, for the for the lightweight there, whatever, at 205 live. He would do some funny shit there. But the problem is the attitude, you know, the the, the being cocky, you know, being stuck up. All that shit was like that. And then when he got fired for stupid shit, now you're seeing stupid crap outside getting fired with people at, at carnivals, arguments, you know, stupid shit like that. And you go like, dude, like, you haven't done shit. All you did was, you know, you had the, the belt one time and you're thinking you're all that and then some. You haven't paid your dues to be acting like this. And since he left on the league, what he has done? Nothing. They did a run in the what? Well, two years ago, they, they, they did a run in a Ring of Honor where they had to have a show at uh, Madison Square Garden. They had the big That's show with New Japan Wrestling and they came out and they, they jumped the tag teams or whatever. And people were upset about that. And after that, you never saw them again. Like, do anything with Ring of Honor or anything. Follow, follow through. And we already saw Morrissey. Now, he's signed with Impact. And, but you haven't seen Enzo do anything ever since. See, so, I you know, this, what, what, type be, of, what type of, you know, what I'm saying, but what, what type uh, of, uh, is, what is it going to bring to MLW when he hasn't done shit in two or three years? No, no, and, and I'm, I get, I, I'm with you. I get that, but I think like, that why I, Kurt Bauer, like this is the, this is the first thing that I want to say. I'm against Kurt Bauer right now. I, I, I'm saying it right now. I'm against Kurt Bauer on this one because Enzo does not bring anything to your company. Does not. Hold on, hold on. Here's 
here's where we just finished talking about how good he is on a mic, right? Yes. So That's it. if you stick him, if you stick him with injustice, it kind of evens the odds, and he he matches with them. Now, if Court Bauer comes in and says, "Listen, I'm going to give you an opportunity because nobody has taken a nibble on you in two three years. This is your platform. You do what you want with it." If they place him and he does and he understands, listen, this might be my last option, my last resort to try to get my name back out there. If he plays his cards right, and I love the fit of him with injustice, because now it evens the odds with uh, Dr. Julius Smokes, Slice Boogie, and Danny Limelight. It becomes a three on three again. And I yeah, think and where, don't forget, and don't, don't forget Cornyn and sometimes. Um, Homicide. Exactly, exactly. Which Hobby has been everywhere. Salute to Homicide. One of New York's greatest imports ever. I don't care where you from. You put some respect on his name because Homicide has did it every single way, and he's done it on a high level. So salute Homicide, real shit. But uh, I think the one issue, and we love. You know, I love Byron Reed. I love Jordan Oliver. I think they're super talented guys. On the mic, I don't think they're especially strong. So if you sit there and you go, yo, y'all just do what you do in a ring. Let this dude talk his shit. And when they try to do the, you know, let's let's take the odds, he's now there. So if, yeah. if we see that, and I'm not telling no one how to fantasy book, it was just my way of where the hell does he fit? Because he doesn't fit in Team Filthy because those dudes are all legit fucking fighters. He don't belong in American Top Team because they're all legit badasses. You know what I mean? He ain't a Von Eric. He ain't Contra Unit. He ain't 5150. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're starting to run out of where the hell does yeah. Enzo fit? And I think the perfect fit would be Injustice. I mean, down right this as you broke it down, I, I will ease up on me disliking the decision to bring Enzo in by Kurt Bauer because you broke it down. I said, you know, I see what you're saying. Now, I actually see that. But right now, I, I, I'm going to say I, I do not like the decision to bring Enzo into the company because he hasn't done shit. But when you say, like, Kurt Bauer might have said, like, this is your last chance, take it, run with it, or leave it and go disappear into the wind or whatever the hell you do. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens when I'm there. You know, hopefully he, he takes it and runs with it and say, okay, this is my, my last chance at being in a real company. Or if not, he's going to be doing those little uh, shows independent like he was supposed to do at WE uh, Fury. And we already know what happened with the company already. So, yep. thank you, Car uh, thank you, um, my Eric girl. I forgot Eric. her name already. What was Lacey. her name? Oh, Lacey. thank you, Lacey. Messed up a good company already, girl. Good Lord. <laughs> you know what? Messed, up a, messed uh, up a good thing. If I have money, I'll buy SW Fury right now, man. Oh, for real. I'll what buy I will her and, and start over again and bring it back better than ever. What I will say, though, is Teddy Long is starting a new company in Atlanta, and they got a lot of good things happening. I wish I could say more, but I can't really say because I don't want to throw the one person I know who's about to work there. Under the, you know what I mean? And uh, I was like, oh, snap, that is so dope because everything that I thought Teddy Long was, this person was like, yo, chef, Teddy Long is a boss. If you can't perform, there's the door. And Teddy Long is already making some deals and everything else. So I was like, salute to Teddy Long because. You went from the SWE thing. Oh, as the, what? Not, I was going to say SWV, but that's the second group. Yeah, SWE Fury. Yeah, Fury. Yeah, and you obviously seen what was falling apart there and was like, nope, I'm going to regroup, do things my way, start my thing, and salute to Teddy Long because he's another one that I would call a legend because yes. Teddy Long put that time in. Oh, shit. But the thing is, there we have the NWA coming from Atlanta. You started the championship wrestling from Atlanta, you know, no. like like three, like three weeks ago. So now they're gonna have another one there. Holy shit! I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty kind of cool to see another company there. And then who who they'll use? And you know, 
I'll, I'll say this because when I was in, I went on vacation, went to Beaufort, North Carolina, did the pirate thing, and then I went to Savannah, Georgia. And there was like a little sign that had like Kevin Nash was going to appear at some kind of like wrestling con there. And I asked somebody, oh, is wrestling big here? And the only thing they said, all we got is NWA. Because at this point, uh, you know, COVID was there. So Championship Wrestling of Atlanta wasn't even yeah. doing it. Well, yeah. So in less than a year, I'd say maybe five, six months, you got three promotions out there now. You know what I mean? And that's such a tough thing because you're building a spot that doesn't have that. So local independent, well, not even independents, guys who are in school don't have to travel to Florida or North Carolina or South Carolina. They're starting to get things in their own home and they can get a little more exposure. So I love it. I, you listen, I'm, we're always about promoting good people. Matter of fact, all I want to say is y'all know the fucking vibes because my man, King Fatboy Papo Esco is going to be in PCW Ultra and he's talking bad shit about anybody with a gold can get it. Anybody. You know what it is. Finish this saying I, before I, we I, I, I heard I heard that beat when he was about to talk. I'm like, dude, he's about to start rapping. <laughs> he's gonna drop a, a, a French 16 bar on us, and then he about like he gonna build him up. I'm like, oh shit, like, what the hell? The more they get open for business, and you can get anything you want, including a beat down. Woo! Damn it. Love it. And we love I, it. We added here on that. Deuces. <laughs>